Hi, and welcome back to the stream. This is Chris Wax Steven IN84, Radio ITG, www.radioitg.com. And we are underway with our next match, folks. That's right, we've got some StarCraft Brood War coming at you right now. Uh, we've got uh, 3WD Enjoy. He's going to be uh, playing Terran. Then we've got, uh, at the same time playing in this match, we have from uh, Romania, we've got Shamanal, who has decided to opt for a different nickname in Seven. He's going to be playing Terran as well, except he's in the lovely brown. That's right, so we, sh we are underway here. We're ready to go. Uh, both players getting their minerals underway. You know, got the SCVs going, gathering, gathering those minerals up. We are on Core Hall of Ceres. Uh, it's an interesting map, and, I, and I'm pretty excited to cast a double Terran on this map. It should be, uh, it should be pretty interesting. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see if somebody's going to go really aggressive or very defensive. Uh, I've seen both uh, in recent replays of the WCG events from the different uh, qualifiers. So it's possible to see just about anything. We've got lots of excellent players here, especially, I have to admit, in the RTS genre. Uh, Warcraft 3, we've got excellent, excellent players this year, and I'm expecting some seriously good matches, uh, as well as the StarCraft players this year. We've got, uh, we, we casted a game earlier that was uh, Midas GM. He's from Korea, and he's, you know, one of the favored people to win this game. So uh, we're going to have lots of those kinds of matches all day. Uh, he, he did get the win there, of course. Uh, he is one of the favorite players. Uh, taking a look at uh, taking a look at Shamanal. He's got himself uh, a barracks going right now, uh, blocking off the choke point. Uh, his opponent's doing the same thing. I think he's built it in the wrong place, though, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, his opponent, uh, Enjoy. Enjoy from Bulgaria. And uh, Shamanal from Romania. Scouting SCV going down right now for Shamanal, uh, going down the center of the map, uh, trying to find his opponent, and uh, his opponent has sent off his own SCV. A little bit slower, but uh, it does the job nonetheless. Shamanal's SCV coming down into the lower portions of the map, seeing the barracks going up, uh, going after the uh, construction SCV right now, trying to do some damage before the barracks gets completed, but it does get finished. Uh, some SCVs coming in trying to uh, finish off the scouting SCV. Scouting SCV being microed away and uh, away from that battle. Barracks is cranking out some Marines, lifted off the ground as uh, it was blocking the Marine that was inside. Doing a little bit of scouting right now. Moving on down to the lower portions of this map. SCV is doing some scouting of the uh, expansion, go uh, expansion uh, mineral deposits right now. Factory going up for uh, Enjoy. Scouting rack still moving down to, down the map here. It's just going to kind of hang out probably at the other guy's base. Factory almost completed inside Shamanal's base. He's got the second one on the way. And uh, looking at the lower portion of the map, we still got that racks planted, uh, blocking that choke point for Enjoy. Uh, Enjoy with his scouting SCV getting attacked by a Marine. Left inside the base by Shamanal. Shamanal got those supply depots blocking uh, the area behind the mineral deposits. Marine finishing off that SCV. Barracks still making its way slowly down to the lower portions of the map. And uh, still the scouting SCVs moving around the lower lower uh, base of Enjoy. He did get the 5 o'clock position here on Core Hall of Ceres. Just a little bit of a recap of what's happened today, folks, uh, while we've got kind of a little bit of an idol in the play. Uh, Midas took the win for South Korea over Spain's Alpha. Uh, we had Artosis take the win over Dan Y. Artosis from USA, Dan Y from Austria. And uh, that's what's been going on so far today. We've, you know, uh, we've had some good stuff already, and I'm expecting more. we got our first vulture out now for Shamanal down in the lower portions of the map going after. He's getting in a, a couple free shots. Still no uh, disruption in his pack. He's got nobody to contend with here. As it looks as if Shamanal, or I'm sorry, Enjoy is still uh, waiting on some more units. He's sent off his here up the side of the map, looking for any expansions coming uh, from his opponent. Not going to find any as of yet. Heading on over towards the main base now is Enjoy. Enjoy going to try and get in some shots. Uh, Shamanal down low. He's only got the one vulture pegging away at the racks. Pretty slow so far. Nothing uh, nothing huge going on. We've got some Goliaths and some siege tanks coming now 
for Shamanal. Shamanal uh, has got those uh, suckers right in his main base. Sees the Vulture. He loses an SCV, though. He's not he's not really on the ball. Here comes the Siege Tank and the Goliath going after the Vulture. They will kill that off and stop that little uh, attack uh, coming from Enjoy. Uh, Enjoy going to uh, force the Vulture of Shamanal to retreat. Uh, he's got his scouting barracks that was just kind of hovering over, seeing what was going on inside the main base of Enjoy. Uh, Enjoy now doing the exact same thing, Goliaths and Siege Tanks. It seems to be the units of choice. These guys wanting to get their uh, tech tree going pretty quick and uh, get those stronger units. Uh, not a bad idea here on Core Hall of Ceres, sticking with the you know defensive strategy. I was hoping maybe to see maybe a, a, an offensive push to try and offset the, the strong defense that we usually see by Terran players on this map. Um, but I guess not. We are going to see that kind of a match right now. And we've got an expansion going for Enjoy. He's uh, not headed to his natural expansion. He's, he's gone to... Uh, well, yeah, that is a natural expansion. <laughs> uh, he's got another one waiting in the wings, ready to get that uh, other expansion going as well. Vulture 4, Shamanal down at one of the mineral deposit sections. Uh, another possible expansion, just keeping an eye on it. He's getting his own expansion up right now. Uh, Shamanal's behind on the expansions, but he's got a lot of units. They're making their way down towards the uh, center of the map. Uh, he's got three siege tanks, four goliaths, and some SCVs on the way. Possibly going to set himself up an expansion, get it defended. Yeah, there it goes. Expansion starting up uh, right near uh, his right near his natural uh, mineral deposits. SCV scouting for enjoy up inside the main base of of his uh, opponent Shamanal. Shaman on making his way down towards the middle of the map. Sees the racks floating in there, going after it with the Goliaths and their missiles. Uh, he's got a siege tank in siege mode to deal with. Going to finish off one of his Goliaths, but he does kill off that siege tank. Uh, that was defending an expansion that was going up for uh, Enjoy. Enjoy moving back, setting himself up some siege tanks in siege mode uh, as he waits for any kind of uh, more offensive maneuvering coming towards the middle of the map. Uh, you know, usually these double Terrans are... are Pretty defensive, uh, and we're not seeing anything different here uh, from these two guys. Uh, they are trying to claim those expansions uh, and make sure they, they, they are trying to out-resource the other player. We've got two siege tanks and two goliaths for Shamanal now trying to push their way down towards the uh, left side, try and get that Rax that's still floating in the air. Uh, it's almost dead. It's got it into the red. That means it's going to start to decay. And uh, it's going to retreat back a little bit. Siege tanks now peg it away at the command center uh, that has gone up the expansion there. Uh, SCV going to repair it, trying to get make sure that it stays alive. Uh, as enjoy getting himself some more units, trying to reposition the siege tanks a little bit better. Uh, he does get some shots in on the on the forward siege tank of uh, Shamanal. Shamanal's got some SCVs there. They're not going to be able to repair it in time. The racks floating on over and it's doing some good scouting. It's going to allow the siege tanks to get some hits in on the other. Uh, player siege tank. Shamanal loses another siege tank. He's trying to push forward, but he does not have the scouting abilities that Enjoy has right now. Bringing over some SCVs, keeping his siege tanks alive. He's taking some hits, but he's keeping them alive. That's the key. And he finishes off some Goliaths in the middle. Four Goliaths coming up now for Enjoy. Enjoy with some more siege tanks coming to uh, reinforce his units. And now he's taken over the middle. He's secured his expansion. He does have that down. But uh, at the same time, Shamanal has got his expansion going. Vespine uh, uh, Geyser uh, is being covered right now. Terran Refinery is going up, and uh, he's bringing in some more reinforcements, more SCVs heading on over towards the middle, trying to get some more minerals there, uh, picking up some more siege tanks. He's got four siege tanks, four Goliaths at his uh, natural expansion. SCV moving on up towards the east side. <laughs> And he's going to go check on his opponent's expansion. Does with that SUV, gets annihilated, and uh, gets himself a unit back as well. He's uh, repairing some Goliaths right now. Shamanal getting uh, some defenses set up at his natural expansion. Needs to keep an eye on things and make sure he does not lose that expansion. If he loses that expansion, game is over. But he's got some Wraiths on the way. That's right, he does have some air support coming in. Wraith, uh, Wraiths are going to be okay, maybe, versus the Siege Tanks, but the Goliaths kind of nuked the crap out of them pretty quickly. Uh, Academy finally going up here for Shamanal. That's going to enable him to build a commsat station. Uh, possibly see some invisible units uh, from his opponent. Uh, we've got some siege tanks from Enjoy scouting the area. He's just now seen the Wraith of uh, Shamanal. Shamanal chasing after him with the Wraith. Uh, getting in some free shots on the siege tank. Down to 108 health. Running away for its life. Uh, moving back towards the expansion. Goliath trying to get themselves in position. Uh, away or er, I'm sorry, it looks like they're being picked up by a shuttle. We, are, we, we do have a dropship coming. Uh, it's moving on up. 
uh, going towards that expansion. It's I almost ran right into the wraith. Uh, I'm not sure what was going on there, but uh, probably a bad idea to lose four goliaths. Yeah, they're kind of expensive. Anyway, dropship moving on up uh, towards uh, another expansion. Uh, moving on over towards the expansion, and now coming in on the behind, possibly of Shaminal. Shaminal uh, could be could be getting ready to die here. Uh, oh, looks like Enjoy is going to reveal his presence. He's just shown his goliaths off uh, a marine that was positioned for some scouting. Dropship coming up the. Up uh, behind the minerals, doing a little bit of scouting for uh, for Enjoy. Enjoy's got some wraiths to deal with. The wraiths going after the dropships being dropped are the Goliaths. Goliaths going after the wraiths, and the wraiths are being forced back to the expansion of Shamanal. Uh, so it looks as if uh, <laughs> the siege tanks were kind of pretty damaged there. Uh, 12 health left on one of them, uh, 66 left uh, on the other, and. Uh, Uh-oh, Shamanal's now got himself some invisibility. Going after the dropship, should be able to easily kill off. Does. Goliath drops out of the dropship, and it's all alone. Got no way to detect the units, uh, invisibility units. Uh, Comsat station being built right now inside the main base of uh, Enjoy. Enjoy and Shamanal uh, just kind of fighting it out here. The Wraiths are going after this SCV. SCV goes down. Goliath can now see the uh, Wraiths, and uh, there it goes. The Wraith's going to be forced to retreat back to the natural expansion. Shamanal uh, with a pretty good defense now. He's got several siege tanks, lots and lots of Wraiths. And uh, he's ready to go. He's got his Comsat station set up. And uh, here comes some more Goliaths. Goliaths making their way up the right side of the map. Wraiths coming down. Looks like they're going to make a run here on the expansion. Lots of siege tanks. They don't have too much air support. Uh, the Wraiths are going to go right past them and go for the main. They are going to look at the uh, other expansion. Nail an SCV trying to construct themselves. Uh, 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 a, uh, an expansion. It just doesn't happen. Uh, we get some Goliaths inside the main base of Enjoy, trying to defend possibly against these Wraiths. Wraiths extremely maneuverable, good for hit and runs. Uh, Goliaths coming on down. They're going to uh, guard a nearby expansion for Enjoy. Enjoy with a pretty nice base set up here. He doesn't have too much air defense at all, really. He needs to get some uh, missile turrets up, possibly, and uh, just make sure he doesn't get... Uh, hit and run a lot, which it looks like Shamanal's going to do. He's got race in position to go uh, all over the map, and uh, looking in the top right, uh, <laughs> we've got a missile turret going up uh, for uh, for Shamanal. He's uh, just keeping an eye and making sure uh, his opponent doesn't come up those sideways. He's got some other missile turrets going as well. He's trying to make sure that he does not let any air units pass. He's setting up uh, missile turrets all over the map right now, making sure that uh, he does not see any wraiths uh, from his opponent. We've got more SCVs coming up the right side, looking to set up another expansion uh, at the uh, 3 o'clock location is Enjoy. Enjoy right now with one, two expansions. Shamanal with one, two, three expansions, and uh, possibly a fourth one soon. He's got missile turrets set up uh, on, on the 9 o'clock location of this map, Core Hall of Ceres. And uh, some ComSat station scans coming in from Enjoy. Enjoy bringing a big force up. He's got uh, about 12, or I'm sorry, 10 or so uh, siege tanks. SCVs coming in, trying to do some damage to the siege tanks. Siege tanks well placed. Two groups. There they go. SCVs go bye-bye. And uh, some more siege tanks and another Goliath coming in to reinforce the, uh, the push coming from Enjoy. Enjoy looks to be coming in. All alone here. Here's some. Here's finally some resistance. Rays coming in overhead. They are just going to stay invisible and uh, not get detected, though. Waiting for that Comsat to go. There it goes. Comsat goes. Rays trying to do some damage to the siege tanks. Not going to happen. Annihilated by the Goliaths. And uh, Enjoy still pushing up forward. He's got his siege tanks ready and set to go. Uh, we've got some more Comsat station scans. And uh, there go the siege tanks uh, of uh, Shaminal. Shaminal using his Comsat scan on the other uh, players. Uh, siege tanks getting in some hits there, but he's only got two siege tanks, three, four siege tanks left. Uh, can he use them? Here come the SCVs of uh, Enjoy. They're going to distract the siege tanks long enough for the other siege tanks, his own, to do their damage. And there they go. Siege tanks go bye bye. One left for Shamanal. That's the only one left defending his uh, first expansion. Bringing down some Goliaths right now is Shamanal. Two more siege tanks on the way. Uh, you know, Enjoy really had to keep that push going. Now going after a scouting engineering bay that was uh, being used to get in some free hits with the siege tank uh, of Shamanal. And now it looks like Enjoy is going to use some ComSat scanning on that natural expansion of, uh, of Shamanal. Getting in some nice hits there with the siege tank. 
And uh, this is where all the action is taking place so far on the map, folks. Uh, not a ton. Here comes the dropship, though, uh, running into a missile turret. And uh, it looks like a Goliath and a siege tank and another Goliath going to be dropped. Nailing those missile turrets, making sure he can use that left portion of the map again is Enjoy. Enjoy making his way up the left side now. He's going to try and do some damage to one of the expansions of Shamanal. Uh, we could see some action up there. Uh, so far, Enjoy's been doing okay trying to push up the middle. He's lost a lot of units, but he's also killed a lot of units uh, of Shamanals. He's been down on expansions thus far. He's still only got the two. Uh, looking at Shamanal, he's got one, two, three still. So he does have more money probably at this point of the match. He's cranking out units all over the place now. Lots of Goliaths here. Six Goliaths and three siege tanks in the middle. But here comes Enjoy. Enjoy coming up the left side of the map, going after one of the expansions finally, using uh, using some uh, serious aggressiveness as he goes after one of the siege tanks that has been dropped. Here comes the dropship. More siege tanks have been dropped, and that's going to be all she wrote for that left push. That was being done by Enjoy. And Joy still got some units on the right side here. He's not even using some Goliaths and Siege Tanks. Expensive units not to use. Here comes uh, Shamanal pushing back himself, coming down the center of the map. He's got four Siege Tanks and uh, about six or four or five Goliaths now. Yeah, four or five Goliaths. And uh, he's making his way down the middle of the map. He's got a lot of Goliaths uh, to deal with, though, as Enjoy bringing in some more reinforcements himself. Siege Tanks and Goliaths coming from Enjoy up the middle of the map. Going to run into the uh, units of Shamanal. Shamanal's going to back off as well as Enjoy. They're going to try and reposition themselves to try and get their Siege Tanks planted. Wait for the other player to entice the other and get them uh, doing the most damage possible. Engineering Bay still scouting down. He's going to be using that uh, very well. It's a very nice scouting unit. It's got a lot of hit points. Takes some serious beatings and uh, it does the job. You know, it scouts a lot of units. Uh, but there it goes. Annihilated by several Goliaths of Enjoy. Enjoy going to finish off one of the Goliaths of uh, Shamanal. Shamanal going to force him back, though, with two siege tanks that have been planted in siege mode. And here comes several dropships from Shamanal. Shamanal along the right side. Looks like that was a nice diversion. Coming along the right side. And he is going to uh, drop in on one of the expansions of. Uh, enjoy, enjoy going to stop gathering resources there entirely. I do not know why. He could still get certain resources there. Uh, just there he goes, finally getting those resources back, repairing his command center. Got su two siege tanks coming in to reinforce. They get quickly annihilated. Uh, <laughs> they're getting hit pretty hard. One left, uh, doing some damage. The SCV's moving on up, trying to block the attacks by those Goliaths and other siege tanks of their opponents. Goliaths going to finish off this Terran command center in the. Uh, in the four o'clock position here on Core Hall of Ceres. Again, the players today are uh, playing right now are Enjoy from 3WD and uh, TEG Shamanal. Uh, Enjoy from Bulgaria and Shamanal from Romania. So far, a pretty even match. We've seen a lot of back and forth action uh, from both players. Here come some more dropships. Dropped, uh, dropped uh, some Goliaths and some siege tanks along the left side. There we go. Some action at one of the expansions of Shamanal. Shamanal's going to take some hits here, losing some supply depots to these siege tanks. We've got two siege tanks and uh, uh, we've got eight or seven Goliaths. Uh, lots of hits being taken by these SCVs in this expansion. And Shamanal's not doing a whole lot right now. He's getting another expansion up though. Uh, he's picked a, a, an interesting spot to put this little expansion up, and he's got a Terran factory going as well in the lower left of Core Hall of Ceres on the on the uh, raised portion of the map. Uh, he's got an engineering bay, rather, not an expansion. He's just going to be using that for some scouting. Nice, uh, cheap, high hit point scout, basically. It's fairly slow, obviously, but uh, you know it's a building. It happens. Some dropships coming up the uh, through the center of the map. Uh, enjoy setting himself up for another big drop. Trying to get, to, he, he's really got to get somewhere. Uh, very aggressive uh, on uh, on Shamanal. Make sure he gets somewhere on this map. This is going to be pretty even until these minerals run out. I have a feeling. Uh, but here comes Shamanal. Four, five dropships now coming down the left side of the map. He's going to come in behind on Enjoy. Enjoy could be taking some serious hits here. Uh, Enjoy obviously not going to expect a hit from behind. Uh, nice little maneuver coming from, sh from Shamanal. Yeah, here he comes. Five Goliaths and five Siege Tank coming up on the behind of uh, of Enjoy. Here come the SCVs. SCVs coming to reinforce uh, the, the units of uh, of Shamanal. Shamanal going to finish off this push. Nice maneuver there by Shamanal. He's going to force Enjoy 
uh, to rethink his strategy. And Joey's picked up some of his units with some dropships. Four dropships now coming down. They're dropping some siege tanks and some goliaths. We've got three siege tanks that I can see so far. Uh, we've got four goliaths, five goliaths going after the SCVs of Shamanal. Shamanal going to do some damage against these uh, against these siege tanks, though. One, two siege tanks go bye-bye. Three siege tanks go bye-bye. The goliaths trying to focus fire on them. One focus fire Shamanal coming down into Enjoy's area. Enjoy finishing that one off. We've got another one down. He's going to go after that one with the siege tank. There it goes as uh, Shamanal just not doing too much uh, aggressive maneuvers here. Uh, he had a nice, nice... Uh, a little, uh, little flank there on his opponent, uh, but uh, he's just not winning the map. That's the key. The, both players have got so much of this map covered. Using, losing little battles like that without any kind of uh, more aggression, uh, you know, continued aggression, it's just not going to win the game for you. We've got some more action at uh, another expansion. Uh, this time it's going to be Enjoy who's taking the hits. Uh, his expansion is it was getting hit. He, he doesn't have any Goliaths here to uh, to get it. Shaman will coming down. Uh, goodbye. Uh, Enjoy comes to reinforce that expansion, and uh, it's quickly quickly uh, stopped, that little push there. Uh, command center falling down on the ground. Uh, it's got some Goliaths to deal with. Better to get out of the missile range uh, by landing. We've got another 10 command center ready to be put down by Enjoy in the lower left of the map. That's where the engineering bay went for uh, Shamanal. Shamanal putting his missile turret down before the co command center goes up, and uh, he's going to try and kill that thing off with missiles. Um, so he's got a pretty even game going right now, folks. This is about as even as it can get. Very heavily defensive Terran, uh, Terran map right now. We got some SCVs and some siege tanks being dropped uh, near where that engineering bay was. That's going to be quickly finished off, and uh, it's canceled the command center that was being thrown up by Shamanal. And uh, Enjoy going to take things over with his Terran command center uh, and uh, get himself another uh, expansion going there. He's only he's got three right now. Uh, one was up for a very long time. He, his minerals were were pretty low throughout that whole process. Uh, seen lots of SCVs buzz around, some siege tanks and some Goliaths coming down towards the natural expansion of uh, of Shamanal. Shamanal uh, bringing in some more units. He's got lots of siege tanks coming down the middle of the map, uh, as well as some Goliaths. He's uh, now moving his way uh, down the ramp. He's going to take the left side of the map now. I don't like going down the middle so far. Oh, we've got some action at the uh, at the five o'clock expansion. Dropships have dropped some some siege tanks uh, for Shamanal. There's lots of them. Oh God, they're killing off these Goliaths left and right. Uh, yeah, the siege tanks just staying in normal mode, not being put into siege mode. They're going to finish off this command center and the five o'clock position pretty easily. Enjoy going to be down on the expansions. Uh, here's a pretty good push coming from Shamanal. He's uh, got his dropships running into the Goliaths uh, in the middle of the the, the map though. And uh, he really needs to get something continued going. He needs to keep this aggressive behavior up and finish off another expansion at the same time. He's still got all these siege tanks. He needs to use them and make sure that he can uh, reclaim this map. Got some Goliaths uh, coming up the ramp on the right side, running into the units of, um, of Enjoy. Shamanal going to come across the bridge right now, get himself into position. Uh, possibly make it a run at one of the other expansions of Enjoy. Uh, the natural expansion has run out for Enjoy and, and Shamanal as well. Uh, well, Shamanal's got about four minerals left. Yeah, there he goes. About to go bye bye. As uh, Shamanal now sitting, waiting on the bridge for uh, some more units. Uh, he's got the dropships heading back to his base. Probably going to try and pick up some more units. He's got four factories inside of his base. He's also got two starports, which he just isn't using that much. Haven't seen a lot of raid action. We do have a science facility. There goes the first battle cruiser. Second battle cruiser now coming out for uh, for a Shamanal. Uh, taking a look inside the base of um, taking a look inside the base of Enjoy. Enjoy really with no battle cruisers that I can see. No, he hasn't really been making too many air units except for dropships. He's going to probably want to try and use his Goliaths that he's been making a lot of to try and counter these battleships. It's pretty hard to take down these battleships. You need uh, quite a few of those Goliaths to do it. And Shamanal has just been trying to get these tech tier 3 units going for a while now. Uh, so he's got another battleship on the way, I believe. Uh, we've got some more action coming uh, near uh, one of the expansions of Shamanal. Uh, Enjoy coming up the side here on the left. 
trying to do some damage uh, to that uh, expansion of Shamanal. Shamanal is just going to raise his command center up off the ground. Here comes the join coming across, uh, going up the, uh, going across the bridge, going to come up the ramp on the left side of this map, right near the natural expansion of Shamanal. Shamanal could be taking some damage here. Uh, doesn't matter too much. He can basically lose that expansion and be okay. He just sends the Vespian geyser going, uh, you know, there, and I'm pretty sure it's out by now. Uh, Goliaths and some siege tanks coming up for Enjoy. Enjoy going to see the dropships, go after, after the dropships, taking some down. He does get a couple of dropships, and there goes the battle cruisers. Enjoy saying good game. He's seen the drop. He's seen the battle cruisers, and uh, that's going to be it. Uh, Shaminal is going to take the win, I believe. And uh, well, no, I don't know. We'll see. Enjoy will be leaving. Shaminal will take the win over Enjoy. Saw the battle cruisers, just did not want any of that. Didn't have too many bases left. That was all she wrote for Enjoy. So we've got another game coming up in just a little while, folks. Uh, our next game is going to be at the top of the hour. It's going to be uh, from Australia. We've got Legionnaire. And from Canada, we've got Gurr. That's right, the third, the third place winner from last year's StarCraft tournament in WCG 2003. Uh, you know, it's going to be some good stuff. Gurr's a great player. He can play uh, a lot of the, I, I believe he plays Protoss and Terran when he has to. So we'll see what his opponent picks. He'll probably pick whatever works best for his uh, for his match. So we'll see that very shortly. This is Chris Wax, Steven, I-94, Radio ITG, www.radioitg.com. Throwing a shout-out to Speakeasy because without Speakeasy, we would not be here. And uh, that would be a bad thing because I like it here. So uh, we'll be covering uh, the next StarCraft match in just a little while. Like I said, top of the hour, about uh, 30 minutes from now. So stay tuned, and be sure to check out the other streams if you got another game that you want to hear.